All right, here we go. Today is the 17th day of the individuation process for the month of October, 31 days of individuation. We're more than halfway through this now. <laughs> it's cool to be here. It's interesting to be here, actually. Um, so today's question to ask is, what would my life look like if I didn't care what other people think? There is, well, I was going to bring up a Twilight Zone uh, episode. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Twilight Zone. Um, Rod Serling's work in the Twilight Zone is something that I think has actually inspired a lot of cinema. And uh, there's an episode of the Twilight Zone that kind of like... There, there, there have been, there have been people out there that have kind of like put out the idea that you know you can live without another person, or that you can like live without people altogether, right? So, I would say that you know more so, it's really just like opinions, just based on kind of things, ideas, you know. Um, but this episode shows you that you would go crazy if you tried to live without people, right? Now, what does this have to say about people's opinions, right? Because people definitely have a tendency to insert themselves in people's lives in ways that is really not their place. And that can be a huge problem because, think about it this way. If you have grown up learning to base your sense of self around what other people think about you, you're going to be slow as fuck when it comes to like decision making when it comes to just, you know, creating, doing whatever it is, right? So the reason why I ask this question is because a lot of people are very much just consumed by other people's opinions and other people's thoughts about them, right? Even though it has nothing to do with them. Uh, what other people what other people think of you has nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. And to get caught up in it is a waste of time and energy, right? Now, if instead you're consciously going to somebody to ask them what they think about something, that's one thing. You're actually consciously going and looking for specific advice and guidance. But if it's just somebody who's creating a bunch of, you know, unnecessariness and, you know, drama, um, gossip, all that, all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's unnecessary, it's a waste of energy, and it's going to waste your time. Um, but the reason why I ask this is because I would argue that this kind of has somewhat of a fight club <laughs> notion to it, right? I'm not going to say anything about fight club in this video because um, I can imagine that maybe there will be somebody watching this that hasn't seen fight club. And I do not want to ruin it for them, out of respect. Um, Fight Club is what I would argue to be, if not one of my favorite movies, my all-time favorite movie. If you have not seen it, I'd highly recommend it. But here we go. So, we live in a society where, you know, it's it's not just enmeshment. It is It is also enmeshment. But there are, like, societal pressures. Like, like you're actually pressured to give a fuck what other people think about you. And it's fucking absurd. It's absurd and it's unnecessary because it slows you down. It voids individuality. The capacity for one person to think and feel for themselves is, like, void. It's, like, non-existent. And that's a fucking issue because I know that a lot of people would probably disagree with this, but I believe that life in and of itself is much better experienced when people are actually grounded in their own individuality, right? I understand groupthink, I understand conformity, I understand all that stuff. What I'm here to talk about is individuation. What I'm here to talk about is individuality. The capacity for one person to think and feel for themselves, independent of what everyone else is thinking and feeling. Which is interesting, too, because I remember times in my own life when I would give in to, like, groupthink, right? Maybe because part of me felt weird for thinking something, and if other people found out that I was thinking that instead of what they're thinking, you know, kind of like the the social consequences, right? Social pressures. This really comes down to social pressures. P 
people, they, they, they like to think that they have this place in their life that, you know, they're, they're going to crawl into your fucking mind and they're going to occupy it without paying rent, right? It's fucking absurd. It is. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not because it absolutely is. Um, but, you know, asking yourself, you know, like, what would my life look like if I didn't care about what other people think? This is a very important question to ask. The reason why it's so important is because if your life would look drastically or even somewhat different if you didn't care what, a, what other people thought about you, that means that you're not living fully, in my opinion. Um, and if you're not living fully, then what are you doing, right? If you're living from a place of fear, that's a problem. Fear that, you know, if you don't continue contorting or, you know, jumping through fucking hoops and all that stuff for people, um, that, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's not okay. It's really not okay. I mean, it all comes down to what the individual wants, right? But when I look back on my own life, I have cared about what other people think about me, right? I have. Because of that, I've been tremendously slower, right? So it's not like being a rocket ship, being able to blast off to the fucking moon. It's about still working with a slow-ass fucking horse and buggy, right? Because think about it this way, right? If you genuinely give a fuck from a place of insecurity about what other people think about you and you want to make decisions in life, there's a good fucking chance that you're going to have to stop every single time that you do something before you do something to check in with the people in your life. Hey, is this okay? Hey, what do you what do you think about this? Hey, should I cut my hair this way? Hey, how do you... like? Hey, you, you're just going to go back and forth. You're not going to be making decisions for yourself. You're not going to be thinking and feeling for yourself. At the end of the day, it is your choice. And to negate that, in my honest opinion, is death. What, are you a multi-human creature? You, <laughs> you have multiple bodies? No. You are yourself. And it's interesting because as these videos has, has, have evolved... I'm noticing that I'm starting to be more kind of like direct with the energy and everything, right? Because it's important to be, right? A lot of people are living through the opinions of others. And that's bringing them a very specific experience of life. So you gotta ask yourself, what would my life look like if I didn't care what other people thought? If I didn't care what other people think, what would it look like? Really go into that, because there are a profound amount of answers. That tells you so much about yourself. All right? Maybe you grew up with this need to base your decisions around other people and what they think. Right? You need to console them first. Right? Hey, what do you think about this? If you didn't ask them that, if you didn't actually take the time and energy to ask them that, you could just go, you know. You could. You could. You just go. But you're not. So it's strange. I'm not here to tell you not to care what other people think. I'm just here to ask the self, what would my life look like if I didn't care what other people think? Now, I'm not going to say that there is that there's not a way that you can live this with some type of balance, right? But what I'm going to say is that I'm going to argue that a lot of people live completely unbalanced and in a very unhealthy way. Let me make this very clear. Your life and the way that you live it, the way that you express yourself, is your boundary. Nobody else gets to tell you how to do it. It's very important to understand that. If you don't understand that, you're going to end up getting consumed by things and taking on responsibilities for people that are not your responsibility, right? 
case in point, if somebody has, well, let's say, if the way that you express yourself is by using the word fuck, right? Some people don't like that word. But the way that you use it is, damn, look at this beautiful fucking day out. Wow, right? There's going to be somebody that has something to say about that, right? However, what you say in that sense is your boundary because that's a matter of personal expression. Anybody who tells you, hey, can you please not say that? I really don't like it. Uh, no. Eh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's not okay. So really, actually, in that sense, they're violating your boundary. By them asking you not to say that because it makes them uncomfortable, that's them violating your boundary need to be aware of that because if you're not again you're gonna care what people think now i'm not telling you to go up to someone and tell them to go fuck themselves i'm not that I'm, I'm not saying direct the energy at someone i'm just saying in terms of personal expression wow beautiful fucking day out Whew. that's it ew i don't like what you said ew <laughs> um, just being aware of these things are important because if you're not, there's a good chance that you could get all, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No. <laughs> no. Um, so what would your life look like if you didn't care what other people think? Ask yourself that. <laughs>